take a peek at that, huh? We spent quite a bit of time covering water and we've narrowed it down now to primarily shoreline stuff and a lot of these little pencil rushes and weed beds is where these fish have been hanging out. I'm just gonna set her back in the net here real quick. But the beauty of you know this, this system of throwing inline spinners and covering water is you can eliminate habitat types and you can find where the most active fish are all of the time. But what I'd like to share with you is there's not all spinners are created equal. Of course, size, color has things to do with it, but the biggest thing is balance and blade size. So here's a little bit about what I do with bucktails in terms of getting them tuned right and fishing efficiently. Mike. One of the most important things about choosing a bucktail is of course the blade that you've got on that bait. Now if you're going for the ultra fast, super speed bucktail, one that starts really fast, engages quickly, the French blade is probably the best starting, easiest to retrieve, fast, fast blade. I love this one when it comes to speed. You want something that's, got, that's good on speed, starts quick, but also has a little bit more lift, your fluted Indianas are the next great choice. And my, my personal favorite, the double Colorados, or just even a single Colorado, has a lot of lift, a slow vibration, and puts out a lot of, a lot of good vibes in the water. And you get that vortex with these Colorados in tandem on a bucktail. Now, most musky fishermen that I know love to play around with different styles of baits. And the thing I love about the Vibrex family of bucktails from Blue Fox is the ability to tinker with the baits and, and switch it up to whatever you want. So the classic Blue Fox Super Vibrex is one of the ultimate baits for that particular situation. If I want to switch from a fluted Indiana to a French and I want to change body styles, all I need is a split ring pliers and I can switch the blade from the front to a new colored body. So I could make a black and chartreuse here, I could make a silver and chartreuse or whatever you want to do. It's about as easy as it gets for modifying baits. Now the Super Boost series with this nice lively marabou tail on the back is also quite easy to modify or just readjust. So let's say I've got this particular yellow one and I wanted to, I wanted to put this body on another set of blades. Really easy to do. I've got one here that I cut up just, uh, just recently. It got bit up by a fish. So this is the fly that comes on the bait. So everything just comes apart. You take a wire cutter, you clip the, clip the thing apart, you put all your components together. Now all you need is about a 15 cent piece of wire. You need a wire bending pliers, just a round nose pliers like this. And this is how easy it really is to do if you wanna make modifications to your bucktails. The first step is to make a loop in the wire with your round nose pliers. So all I do is put the, the wire in and make sure I've got enough tag to make a loop around. I squeeze it, slide my hand, around, I just roll that wire right around the, the nose of the pliers until it's at about a 90 from the shank. And I simply wrap it around a good wrap, wrap or so. Boom, that's it, straighten it out. I've got a good loop in the, loop in the wire. Next, I'll just clip the tag of the wire. Watch your eyes every time you do this because it tends to fly. Clip that. Now you just need to add the hook. I like using the VMC 9617 O'Shaughnessy style and a five or six aught for most of the bucktails I'm fishing. It's just a great hooking and holding bait. So I need a split ring pliers and I just add the hook to the wire loop that I just created. I'll slide that on. And I've got one more little touch I do to the hook before I start adding the body. Next, I just like to add a little piece of shrink tubing. So I've got a little chunk of it here. Cut off maybe about an inch or so, a little more. Take the shrink tubing, and I slide it down the shank of the wire, and I run it over, I just run it over the hook and the split ring, and hang it just above, I want it to be just slightly above where I made that loop in the wire, so the end of it, you can see it's just just, just about right there, that's perfect. Now I just apply some fire. Ready? And I'll just tighten right up.
See, I got a nice tight, tight wrap. Now it's time to assemble the bait. I like heavy egg sinkers like half, three quarters, or an ounce. Just slide it on. Next, simply put the fly body on, and you're halfway there. All right, after I've got the body put on here, I'm just gonna put the Vibrex bell system back into place. So you start with the little bell ringer, goes on the bottom. You've got a little brass sleeve, goes in. And I've got the Vibrex bell itself. It'll slide, uh, slide through as well. So boom, got it. can you hear that nice little ting on that, on that Vibrex? I, I just like that. I think the Vibrex just adds a little bit more, a little bit more noise to it. And it's all about, you know, making the fish aware that the bait is there. And any, any advantage you've got, the Vibrex bell is certainly one of them. I like that. So now the next step is just put the little brass toppers on on top. So I'll put, uh, put the big one on, put the little one on, and now I'm ready to put the clevises on. I'm going to go with the double blade Colorado combination on this particular bait just because we've been having success on it. So I'm going to try a gold and chartreuse with brown. We'll see how that works. I haven't seen that color out here before. So first thing, grab both of the clevises and I'm gonna stack the clevises on top of each other first. So I'll put the one on, and then I put the second one on. I don't wanna stack them one and then the other. So you can see I've still got two open ends here. So that they're, the bottom ends are stacked. Now I just add the blades onto each clevis. You can see that? And then I'll just put the clevises right back over the top. Drop them down, and there it is. It's a big body with little blades. I'll be able to burn that puppy pretty quick. I think that's gonna be a cool looking bait. Now last but not least, is we just have to close the loop on it. So I'm just gonna give myself again a little bit of space. I'm gonna bend, bend the loop right back in the top. I'm giving it a little extra room. I like to have a little, little on top. So again, I just squeeze the wire, bend it down, get it at about a 90. And I'll just follow that around perpendicular to the main shank, get a couple good wraps on her, and I'm in business. That's it. Trim the tag, and you got yourself a modified Super Boo. It's a pretty cool system, I think. If you like tinkering, you like catching muskies, you want to modify a bait to any particular situation that you're facing, a couple pieces of wire, do your favorite bucktails, your Super Boo series, you can just mix it up fish anything you want. Any color combo, anything you can imagine. All you need is a couple tools and you're in business.